Let's go inside and take a look at Kahoot's tea shop. Alright, so they've got a lot of different things in this shop. I love this shop. They've got like teacups. Just a lot of lovely things. But remember, I'm looking out for the English sweets. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what they have around here. Oh my gosh, it is lovely. And again, this is the In Cahoots shop in Great Falls on Central Avenue. It is absolutely lovely. Oh, okay, so here we go. I see a flag. I see the Union Jack flag. It looks like it's a piggy bank. Oh, there's a little piggy. So what you do with the piggy bank is you put money in him and then you save money and there is the British Bulldog. Uh, I already like this shop, even if it ain't from England. And there's a little teacups, look at that. That's the teapots. So let's keep walking around, walking around. Oh my gosh, it is lovely. Look, and they got different kinds of tea, you guys. Different kinds of black tea. And I do have a confession to make. Yes, I'm from England, but I do not like tea. <laughs> Do not like tea. Oh my gosh, okay, so here we go. Here's some little teacups. Oh, and it looks like you've got things for little tea bags. Would you use that for your tea bags? See, I told you I don't drink tea, guys, so I don't really know. It just got lots of little knickknacks. It's lovely. There's more tea over here. Oh, all right, so I've seen digestive biscuits. They're from England. Oh my gosh, Mr. Kipling cherry maple cakes, apple cakes, Turkish delights. All right, remember guys, me and my British friends that live in Montana, this is in Great Falls, Montana. And there's some more green teas. And look, here is, hello, I just hit jackpot. Here is, okay, again, I don't like tea, but there's bisto, pickled onions, there's pencils, HP sauce, that's good on steak. And bisto is like gravy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mr. Bake Balls again, and the digestive biscuits, and I have hit the sweets. Crunchies, galaxies, curly whirly. Oh my gosh, I remember those when I was a kid. And the Aero chocolate and a flake, which is just like chocolate. And then there's Heinz baked beans, Branston pickle. That's kind of sweet. And there's those Turkish delights again. And I guess these are like individual jellies. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm in heaven. I've got to buy some of those sweets before I go home. And again, there's some extra teas. Oh, look, we do have something from Montana. We have a wild huckleberry brownie mix. Oh my gosh, look at this. It seriously has a bit of everything in this shop, you guys, look. It's lovely, I could work here. I think if I worked here though, they wouldn't have any sweets left. <laughs> and then again, there's a whole different teas. Ooh, what's that? Bana oh, banana chocolate tea. Wow. Boy, all I remember growing up was just regular like black tea. And look at these hats. So I wonder, the person that owns this shop, I wonder if they're from England. And it looks like they have like a clearance and oh my gosh, and they have lotions. Oh, it's lovely and lace, oh look at those laces. I love lace curtains. And it looks like you can have drinks made, teas, hot or cold, chai lattes. Now I am a coffee drinker, London Fog. Oh boy, they have like a bit of everything in here. It's just 
a lovely, lovely shop. So, if you are in Great Falls, you have to come into the shop called the Cahoot, in Cahoots, and um, you will get all your English sweets. Thank you so much for coming on this adventure with me in Great Falls, Montana. I'd like to give a big shout out to Kathy. Kathy, thank you for letting me come into your shop in Cahoots and show everybody around there. And the bonus is that I found English sweets. So if there are any British people that live around the Great Falls, Montana area, that's your place where to go. So until our next adventure, take care love one another and i will see you all soon bye